Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Builds and today we're dealing with the 2014 Ford Ranger T6 Rally Raid. Now this has a 1,020 horsepower, 871 ho pounds feet of torque, 6.2 litre twin turbocharged V8 and the car itself weighs 4,562 pounds. As a result of that power on its all-wheel drive system it can do not to 16.446 seconds, not to 109.228 seconds and do 153 mile an hour. So yeah, it might not seem all that quick in terms of acceleration or top speed, but this is a car that was made to go off-road. And even though it was dealing with a lot less power than it was original, than it has now originally, uh, I still feel like it's going to be able to uh, handle this course really rather well. Whether or not it's going to be quick is a whole other thing, but it, I'm pretty certain it won't have all that many issues. It shouldn't do anyway, being a car that's made for doing this kind of thing. But then again, it is dealing with more power, and uh, yeah whether or not it can deal with that extra power while uh, going at the speed that it, it could do normally, I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's see what it can do. So yeah, this wasn't even an all that powerful car originally. It certainly wasn't all that quick either. But it's a lot quicker now. Whether or not it can handle that extra speed, I don't know. Certainly got the off-road suspension and certainly got the off-road tyres to cope with this kind of stuff. Just hope the weight doesn't hold it back too much as well. Turn right quick enough. Yeah, this is more than capable of going for the water really fast. But I am not capable of keeping it straight and narrow, evidently. Yeah, it came out of the uh, water a bit too uh, sharpish there. Ah, uh, goddamn trees. That's the worst thing about this course. Let's go back again. I do apologise. We do want a quick time and we do want a smooth time uh, as well. This car's been a bit of an arse. Right, slow it down. That's the problem you see that you get with these kind of vehicles is you put all this extra power in it, it's dealing with nearly well, more than three times the power it had originally thereabouts. And we're obviously asking a lot from it. Because this wasn't an all that quick car when it was stock. It's capable of going off road easily, yeah, but at the speed that it was originally made for, yeah. We're asking far more from it than uh, it was ever meant for, to do. That's why it's got a few issues. But that's what the rewind feature's for. I don't like to overuse it, but if we're having issues like that time and time again, it's only fair that we do. No issues for the water though. Light work of the water, which is always good to see. And there we go, we've got another Ford in the top five. In fact, it's actually the second quickest car. It's finally dethroned the Ford Falcon XR GT from its number two spot uh, with a time of 2 minutes 3 seconds, 0.891. It's only just because this Ford Falcon XR GT was 2 minutes, point, two minutes 3 seconds, 0 0.958. So yeah, not even 0.1 of a second in it. Uh, but yeah, it's done it convincingly and Ford once again have 4 in their top 10. After the foreground, Victoria got knocked out by the Bentley. So uh, yeah, seems Ford are doing uh, far better than I ever expected. Especially considering 
there have been a couple of Fords that haven't done well. And then the Ford uh, Focus S RS, which was disappointing, quite frankly. But yeah, this Ford Ranger T6 has done remarkably well, considering the problems it was having. But uh, yeah, despite the fact we had to rewind several times, it's uh, made up for it with a, a cracking time. But the uh, Ford Falcon XR8 still reigns supreme by more than a second ahead of this. So uh, yeah, we've still got to find a car to beat that, because that car put in a stunningly quick time of 2 minutes, 2 seconds, 0.823. So only just over a second quicker than this, but doesn't matter if you win by a second or about by ten minutes, a win's a win. And uh yeah, that but it's just incredible now that we have three Fords in the top three. And uh yeah, I don't even think in the uh, last series in Forza Horizon two we had a uh, a straight win by any car manufacturer like that. I know Ferrari had a uh, several cars in the top ten but nothing like the scale of this Ford run that they're having at the moment. Well, maybe we need to have a look at Ferrari and see what they can do. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.